Okay, so we saw how to get this beautiful seamless cast on edge, but we also need to do a little bit of management on the side edges. So there are these side edges when you're working your piece here. And there are different techniques for locking these two edges together. <laughs> uh, the one that we're going to do um, still keeps these colors separate, uh, but keeps the, sti the edge stitches here locked together so that it's not um, two flaps here that seem separate. Uh, it keeps this edge together and clean. Uh, so it's pretty simple what we have to do for this. So um, each edge stitch is going to be worked in its main color, right? You see that here where the main color runs all the way down here and all the way down here. So there, so there is no patterning on the first or last stitch of each row. Okay, uh, so what we're going to do to lock those two edges together is so you uh, knit the uh, main color in its own color, right, like this. And then right here, in between these two halves of the first stitch, is where we're going to lock them. So all we have to do is take these two strands of yarn and twist them. So you can see one is looped around the other. right? And then just do this normal, so they're twisted. And then you know, bring them both to the front, purl that second half, right, in its, its own color, and tighten this up. And so by twisting those two strands together there in between on the two halves of this first stitch, it locks the two sides together in a, in a seamless way. And by seamless, I mean you can't see that the gold is looping around the white or that the white is looping around the gold. Right, so that is hidden. But every time you turn your work uh, and start a new row, you want to do that in the first stitch. So let me show you that one more time. So uh, green is my main color here, and so I'm going to knit uh, this first stitch here in green. And then we'll want to bring both strands of yarn to the front to purl, but before I do that, I want to take these two strands, yikes, almost dropped that, and I want to twist them. And it does not matter which direction you twist them. You can see when you bring them both to the front of the work that that they are looped around each other. And then purl, Oop, tighten that up, don't pull it off your needle, <laughs> and then continue working in the charted pattern, right? Um, and I just twist it once because that's really all it needs, but if you want to twist it more than once you can. Uh, but that's going to keep these nice, uh, clean, crisp edges here uh, where the two colors are separate, uh, but so that you don't have two flaps of fabric on the edge. 